here uh, the uh, whenever we are working with payment terms we have to assign to the reference data set and assign to the business unit so whatever the payment terms we are creating maximum payment terms are common for business units so what we'll do is we'll group those uh, payment terms and assign directly to the business unit instead of assigning one by one for example let's say i want to create 100 payment terms 100 payment terms i would like to go for create and after that i have 20 business units okay so if reference data set concept is not there then what we have to do first 100 payment terms we have to assign to first business unit bu1 then we have to again assign to bu2 then we have to assign to bu3 so uh, like this we have to do it manually for every business unit if reference data set concept is there, we can group all these payment terms and assign that to the business unit. Only 20 times we have to go for assign to the business unit. To refer some set of objects, we will be using this reference data set concept. Let's uh, create a reference data set here. When we are working with a reference uh, data set, manage reference data sets here click search button we will find two built-in reference data sets provided by oracle one is common and enterprise we don't use enterprise maybe in future it will be used we'll be using common and of course these are the reference data sets uh, are created when we do it our business units but we don't find all this in real time. We are supposed to create manually one by one. We call it as a custom reference data sets. Custom is nothing but a new reference data sets. Okay. So here common reference data set is used to assign your object to all the business units. For example, client says that I would like to have some payment terms for all the business units. Then what we can do while creating that payment term, we can choose business unit. Reference data set as common. So whenever we are creating payment term, if you select common set, that payment term is assigned for all the business units. But client is asking, assign some of the payment term only for specific business units. Then we have to create this reference data set. Let's say uh, I'm going to create one more reference data set here. Uh, I'm just creating, let's say, Sony uh, payment terms reference data set to keep my payment terms. Right now, there are two payment terms, for example, this one and this. When we are creating the payment term, I'll ask my client, is this payment term for all the business units or specific business units? If client says that, it is for all, then use common set, then your payment term will be closed. If it is for specific uh, business unit, then we have to use custom reference data set. Then we have to use custom reference data set. Okay, let me go for payment term here. Manage payment terms here. This. We are going to create a payment term here. I'm going to say that it's a four working days we have to complete payment. Here we will specify the installments. 100% it has to be paid in four days. That's the requirement. Here we have to use set assignment. So client is telling this is for all the business units. So what we have to do here, we have to assign your payment term to the common reference data set that is built. Where is common here? That's all. Your, your work is done. Because you said that this is for all the business units. How we have explained to the system through this option called common reference data set. Common reference data 
set yes but if you want to make your payment term only for your business units either one or multiple let's say another payment term i'm creating 15 days or let's say we would like to have two installments so amount has to be paid uh, 15 days 70 percent of the amount then five days uh, we would like to pay 30 percent seventy percent has to be paid in 15 days 30 percent needs to be paid in five days you can also specify uh, amount wise or percentage wise or you can set the fixed date end of the day month like that also we can go for mention and now i'm going to have the assignment here now client is telling that this is not for all the business units then what we have to do we have to use our reference data set where is that sony reference this is uh, one of the bug sometimes you don't get that name here reference data set name because uh, it will show some list maximum uh, out of that it will not display so what i'll do is just save and close let me go back to reference data set change the name manage reference data sets what is our reference data set so, this right okay. going to starting as one sony data reference data set because maximum has already created now let's go back to payment manage payment terms here what is your payment term? You can filter from here. This one, right? Edit. This we can use. So now what we have done is we created payment term and we said that this payment term is assigned for this this particular reference data set. This reference data set we have to assign to the business. Let's go to the task here. Very important task, business unit set assignment. So whenever we want to assign the payment term to the business units, we cannot assign directly. First, we have to assign the payment term to the reference data set. Then we have to assign the reference data set to the business unit. So what is our uh, reference uh, term here? Payment, right? Payables. We can search here. There are a number of objects. Right now we are working with the object called payables payment term. This Sony one, right? One Sony, not this. So whatever the payment terms are available in this reference data set, that will be assigned to your business. So first, what we have to do is uh, we have to create a payment term assigned to the reference data set, assigned reference data set to the payment terms. So first, we have to create our payment terms, assign this to the reference data set, assign this to the business. Directly, it will be associated with the business. Now, we'll go for test it. Go to the setup here, invoice options. Payment terms. I can see my payment terms. Immediate also I'm getting because this immediate option is already assigned under common set. So whatever the reference, whatever this options are there under common set, we'll be getting that here it is. Okay. So this is how we can go for perform the payment term. It's one of the important questions in the interviews and important setups also. 
So multiple payment terms we have to configure depends on the requirement. We'll be discussing with business users, gather the requirement, what are the different types of payment terms required. According to that, we'll go.